hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn the process of blending different layers together using the ballpoint pen before i proceed please do well to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel as it will encourage me to upload more tutorials relating to ballpoint pen art in general. So back into the video. Blending with pen has always been very difficult, especially to beginners who are just trying the medium for the very first time and wonder how other pen artists achieve theirs so easily. If you are that beginner artist and you are watching this right now, then stay glued. One thing you have to know about the pen blending technique is how to control the pressure of your pen. The pressure determines how good your blending will be. So first thing first is always Remember to clean the tip of your pen whenever you want to start a drawing. Always clean the tip of your pen to avoid ink stain at the very beginning. So I'm going to demonstrate this process using a rectangle and dividing that rectangle into three parts which is the dark tone, middle tone and the light tone. The middle tone can also serve as your blending tool if you want to. So I'm going to be starting off with the darkest tone. In this process, I'm going to shade each tone individually, then show you how the process of blending is being done. So this is my dark tone. I'm using the cross action technique. The more I overlayer my pen stroke, the darker it becomes, and the other I have to increase the pressure of my pen in order to achieve that dark shade. So in blending this way is always easier and faster when you use the cross action technique. So after getting my dark tone done, I'm moving next to the middle tone, which would be the determiner between my dark tone and my light tone. So the middle tone is just reducing the pressure on your paper. The pressure achieved from a middle tone is not as hard as the one achieved with a dark tone so you have to reduce the pressure you apply on your paper and don't forget to always clean the tip of your pen because whenever you are shading a very dark place there will be ink collected in a particular place of your pen so you have to clean it before you proceed to your next tone to avoid ink stains so it's still the same process cross action all through trying to get the individual tone then showing you the process of blending each tone together so my last tone here is the light tone and which will be the lightest in this demonstration
so now this is how blending different layers is going to be done our first blending which is our darkest tone we are going to try to blend it with a middle tone and i will try to blend a middle tone into the light tone also so these are basically different layers we can count it we can have like that is if that is a five layer shading our darkest tone so for you to get this smooth blend transition what i do is using my cross arching technique on one edge closer to the darker tone not on the dark tone on the middle tone i'm going to use a cross arching technique with a little other pressure and try to blend it with my dark tone So this is done by over layering your pen stroke on the middle tone until it blends with the dark tone. Remember this is a very patient technique, you don't have to rush it. When you rush it, your lines will not be in uniform and you will not get that smooth blend transition you needed from the beginning. So you have to take your time and blend it to whatever you want to achieve. So it's just by adding a little pressure on your middle tone in order to blend it with the darker tone and give it that smooth transition. So as you can see, it's that easy to achieve. When I'm done with my blending, I try to blend it with the other middle tone so that it will have a uniform look. So I'm going to move now to my light shade, my light tone. So in order to achieve this, it's basically the same thing I did with the dark tone. But this, you have to reduce your pressure. Reduce the pressure you apply on your paper. If your pen strokes are too hard, then you won't get that smooth transition blending. So reduce the pressure you apply on the paper and use the same cross action technique as you see me using at the edge. As you can see as i'm using the as i'm layering the strokes you can see it's already blending itself already so the more you lay over layer your strokes the more it blends easily without you having to face too much difficulty so that's basically 
what is being done. There's no special technique or using cutting rule to blend to get a small shade. No, it depends on your skill and how patient you are. With that, you'll be able to get a smooth transition blending as you, as you see other artists doing it in their work. So it's not something that is that difficult. If you are familiar with the pencil, then the pen shouldn't be a problem to you. It's just the same technique but different approach. So that is just basically blending technique is all about as simple as this with enough practice and patience it becomes easier to achieve. So when we compare the two rectangles together you can see lots of difference and it's as easy as that. The first one is just a rushed rush work and lack of pen technique. No blending between the dark and light, they are all standing separate. While the second rectangle has a well detailed blending from the dark to the middle to the light with no boundary in between they are all blended together so that's basically what it means to blend with pen as easy as that there is no special technique to learn it's just you your skill your pen and your paper and you are good to go with enough practice and patience so Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, kindly like and share to other artists and friends that are facing similar challenges also. And don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss out on my next tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.